Now, a 68-year-old patient who received an artificial heart in August has recovered sufficiently to return home. That's what the French company that makes the device said earlier. And here to tell us more is France 24's Mairead Dundas. Mairead, hello. Just how significant is this? Well, in the words of Alan Carpentier, now that's the surgeon and the creator or inventor of this device, this case is incredible, this patient is a miracle, but other cardiologists have also backed him up. They're describing it as a groundbreaking technical feat. What we have is a patient who was in the advanced stages of heart failure, who back in August last year received this artificial device. It's now five months later and he's deemed well enough to go home so well that they're saying that he can move around freely. He's resuming what the doctors are calling a normal life. There's talk of him driving to his sons to have lunch. There's talk of him on an exercise bike. That's really giving an idea of just how well he's doing. His heart doesn't function on its own, though, however. It's a um, powered by a lithium battery pack that's attached to his waist. It weighs around three kilograms. We can see it there. That's something he needs to carry with him all the time. It is worth noting, though, that he's not the first patient to receive this device. We did have another gentleman who died in March last year, 74 days after the operation. No one knows quite sure why. Obviously, the researchers are being a little more cautious this time, waiting five months before announcing the success, you might say, of the trial. And while today's case, it is a one-off and it is very early, you can't help but think about the tens of thousands of people who could potentially benefit from this kind of technology. So where to from here then for the French company uh, Carmat? Well, we certainly won't be rushing out to buy this over the counter just yet. As I mentioned, this is the second patient to trial the device. They've got an initial trial of just four. If all goes well, they'll open that up to another 20 participants. It's worth noting that the criterion for success is 30 days of survival after the operation. So, in fact, the first case was deemed successful. He lived for two and a half months. It isn't suitable for everyone, though. While they're interested in commercialising it, um, it weighs one kilogram, so it's actually three times the size of our normal heart. Um, women and children are less eligible. It's too heavy for people of a, you know, a smaller stature. However, if all goes well, the company is hoping to get a European licence. We could see this heart sold for €180,000. The potential market, €20 billion. Euros. And not surprisingly, this morning, as soon as this was announced, shares in Carmat, the company behind it, went up 23%. So there's a lot of people keeping their eyes on this. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much indeed, Mairead.